What we might think of as morally neutral policy decisions sometimes are dense with ethical implications. Transportation policy is an example of that, I think. If you drive, we have real alternatives. Say in Manhattan, you're driving, well, straight to hell. Ethics concerns actions that are volitional. So if you live in Dallas or Phoenix or Atlanta and you want to read a newspaper or go to school or have a job, we well, have to drive. But in Manhattan, they deliver. So here we can walk to the corner for our paper, or take the train to work, or bike to visit our friends. Here driving is done by choice. Ethics is the effect of our actions on other people. That ethics isn't ethics until other people are involved. And when you drive where you have options, you harm those other people a lot. Let me give you a few reasons why it's a very, very bad choice. First of all, cars kill. If you introduced a new transportation system by announcing, well, it will only kill 30,000 people a year and hospitalize about 10 times that many, it's difficult to believe it would gain widespread popularity. Cars also kill in a whole other way, in slow motion. Now, running over your neighbors, that's a very quick and efficient way to kill them. But if you're patient, and if you're willing to work with other people, you can kill many more of them by so polluting the air that they keel over from hideous respiratory illnesses. And by contributing to global warming, you can kill a whole future generation. It's a legacy. Cars make you fat because you don't walk to work, because you don't bike to visit your friends. You contribute to the growing epidemic of obesity in America. If you only harmed yourself, that would be a medical problem, but not a moral problem. But by developing diabetes and other serious diseases related to obesity, you harm other people. You impose tremendous social costs and emotional costs and economic costs on the rest of the community. And that is an ethical problem. Cars also hideously distort our foreign policy. Um, just to keep the oil flowing, we have a disconcerting tendency to buddy up with hideous tyrants and an even more disconcerting tendency to invade other nations. So my point here, the, the larger point, is that ethics doesn't just concern individual actions taken in isolation. Ethics is a social transaction. We must think of ourselves as members of a community. We must engage with public policy. We must practice civic virtue.